few weeks ago, I made a video about how much I spend in a week and one of my largest expenses by far was rent. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a tour of our $4,500 a month downtown Los Angeles apartment and how we utilize it. But first, I'm gonna watch some classic MTV Cribs episodes to get inspired. Uh, my CD player, you know, my DVD player. Come out here and watch like videos and DVDs late at night. You can stand here, look at New York, things of that nature, all the while in my four inch heels. All right, well, now I'm gonna go pretend to let you in the front door. Welcome to our apartment in downtown Los Angeles. It's a one bedroom, one bath, about 1,700 square feet. Come on in, let's take a look. First, as you enter, we have a little coat rack. That's where we hang our dog leashes and bags and jackets. And then we have a pennant to remind us of where we live in case we forget. And then we have a bench that we slap together with some salvaged wood and some hairpin legs. And that's where we hide our shoes. And then we have these electric scooters that we bought when we lived in the arts district of downtown. It was an easy way to get around without driving. So if the audio is kind of echoey, it's because we have 20 foot high ceilings, which are one of our favorite parts about this loft. We also have concrete floors, so all the audio bounces around a little bit. And here is a closet where we have more storage, a pantry, and where we hide things that we don't want to show in apartment tours. And then here is a ladder that goes to Narnia, or just more storage. Here we have our dining room table. We usually play games here. Don't eat here, we usually eat on the couch. Over here is my favorite sitting chair. It's a little vignette we use for photos and sit here and eat lunch on a nice day. Behind me are our desks. That's where we spend most of the day. Rachel's desk is over here, mine is over there. And that's where we get most of our work done during the day. This is where the dogs sleep sometimes. Here is our kitchen. All marble countertops and backsplash. Thermidor appliances. It's a really nice kitchen, a lot of counter space, a lot of cupboards. And then above it, we have our neon sign that we got made for our wedding party a couple of years ago. Here we have a portrait print of our hero, Anthony Bourdain. And if you open up this cabinet, we have a portrait of our villain. And Adam Sandler. I don't, I don't know what he's doing there. Then over here, we have some of Rachel's fermentation experiments. Here's our little living room area. Got a little sectional couch that I love so much. And then a 4K short throw projector. Then right across from the couch is my cold brew kegerator. So it's stocked with nitro cold brew usually. That's why we usually leave that shade down. And then down here on the left, we have the bathroom. Some more marble in the bathroom. Washer and dryer in unit. The best part of the bathroom is the view looking out. You have a perfect view of the skyline while you're getting clean. And then behind me, we have photo prints from some of our favorite photographers. This photo print is by Christopher Haney. This one is from the stills photographer for the movie A Ghost Story, Brett Curry. And then this one is by Ryan Muirhead. And the bedroom. So now here in the bedroom, we have more closets behind the mirrors. We have the Peloton that if you want to know how I paid for it, I have a video on that. We also have lockers that we bought when we first moved out here and we spray painted black for more storage. We have another TV on the wall that came with a place and we have another cool view. And then over here is where all the magic happens. Okay, put the car. All right, let's head on upstairs and check out the studio. Here we have a little music area. We have Rachel's drum set. Then we have a pedal steel that we bought for each other for Christmas last year. And we haven't learned how to play it yet, but um, it's on the to-do list. And then I have my guitars here hanging on the wall. And my bike. And Rachel's bike. On this side, we have a bunch of closets. And then here is a temporary wall that our videographer Nick built for us. It's kind of the same kind of walls they use for museum exhibits. So when we move out of here, we can take the wall down without damaging the floors or anything like that. But it's super sturdy and it helps us have a backdrop as a set, and it also helps keep the reverberations of audio down because it is a loft area open to the rest of the apartment, and so the wall helps kind of control that a little bit. Since we are photographers, we do have a lot of cameras and a lot of gear associated with making videos, and so we keep all of that around here. 
Before we moved in, the previous tenant was using this area as a bedroom, and so there's like this TV up here. Really nice TV, but we literally have never turned it on once. Here we have more gear storage. Sometimes we record voiceover in here. Works out pretty well. Over here is my set where I film my videos. It may look familiar. And on the other side is the Mango Street set where we film Mango Street videos. Here's another charging station of sorts. We have some charging in the closet, but since we have so many different kinds of batteries and everything, I made a makeshift one here. So for filming, we use this Canon C200 camera for most of our set shots. And we have a bunch of LG monitors that they sent us. So we use these just to see the shot and make sure we look okay and that everything's framed up right. So one of the downsides of this studio set is right above us is the rooftop and there's a lot of mechanicals on the roof that cause a lot of ambient noise. So even though we have sound panels up and packing blankets, it still has just a lot of room noise and that's just one of the downsides of being so close to the roof. The other thing we did for the Mango Street set is we put up these curtains to help control the sound as well. And that way everything kind of stays pretty contained within the set. Okay, next is maybe our favorite part about this place which is the whole reason why we moved here, honestly, and it's a private rooftop. Let's check it out. Here's the private rooftop. We have a lot of space, a lot of seating. You have a lot of people over. Obviously, as of late, we haven't had very many people over, but there are string lights hung up, so at night, you have really nice ambiance and just a really relaxing place to enjoy the view. And then we also have a patch of grass here for the dogs. It's really nice just to come up here and then Enjoy the beautiful sounds of the city, you know? It's really relaxing. Well, thanks for following along with this tour of our apartment. And later this afternoon, we actually find out if an offer we put in on a house was accepted. So if you know anyone who wants to live downtown in this apartment, we may be subleasing it. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.